When I was young, my mother gave me one of those orange ceramic piggy banks. You know, the ones that have a plug in the bottom that you have to remove in order to get to the money inside. And that savings bank is what started me on my savings journey. I've had a variety of savings goals over the years. In high school, it was a stereo. In college, it was tuition. Early in my career, it was saving for vacations, a down payment on a condo, and retirement. And then later, as I continued working, I was saving for a honeymoon, furniture for a new house, vacations and retirement still, and of course, those pesky, unexpected expenses like car repairs. Having a picture in my mind of what I was saving for really helped keep me motivated, even when my contributions were small. And whenever I set a new goal, I would look at all of the sources of money that I had coming in from jobs and gifts and others, and look at what money I was spending throughout the month on bills and other items like eating out. And then I was able to figure out how much I was able to save. If the amount that I was able to save was pretty small and it seemed like it would take forever to reach my savings goal, I had to readjust. I either had to extend the timeline for my goal or I had to change my spending and saving habits so I could save more. So no matter what stage of life you're in, get a picture of what it is that you're saving for and use that as motivation to set your plan. Make sure you have the right savings account that meets your needs. Save automatically into that account and then check on your balance from time to time so that you can see your product progress. And while you're at it, give yourself a pat on the back for making a goal and funding that goal.